What's up guys, I'm OP Swover, and I want to talk about the first episode of Volume 9 of Ruby. Before we do though, I want to set a few ground rules for whatever I am going to do reviews for now on. First would be my explanation, or at the very latest, my understanding. The second portion being about what was good, the third portion being what was bad, and then it'll be my overall summary of it, and a score. So, let's begin. Oh, and spoilers, by the way. The episode begins with the point of view of Ruby during the end of Volume 8, where everything goes to sh** and Cinder, betraying Neo as Ruby hangs on. As Neo and Ruby fell, there is a small fight sequence before falling to this island. Ruby wakes up and then explores around the forest and goes in a loop for some reason. Then she meets up with a mouse who is now named Little. Then we cut to Weiss and Blake talking about the ending of Volume 8, then trying to get Blake's weapon. However, it was a trap and a bunch of mice catch them. Ruby ends up walking in with the facial expression looking like she has a Vietnam War flashback. Little explains to the mice about how humans can pick up the... I guess they're called plant cheese? I I'm just making up the name here, I don't know what they're called. Then Ruby, Weiss, and Blake, along with Little, try and find Yang, only to meet this thing. It does give me Zaru vibes, so I'm just gonna call it Zaru. Zaru attacks, and Yang throws a big ass boulder at it. Hey, she tried damaging the Pokemon before catching it, so I'll give her some props. Then they explain what happened in the ending of Volume 8. Again! And Ruby passes the hell out. Same, Ruby. Same. Then Ruby wakes up and explains that Neo is with them. Then the island is revealed. I like the animation. I don't see a flaw in it. Some people don't like the Wonderland theme of the island, but I do. It's a way better environment than fighting in the middle of nowhere. In my opinion, it's refreshing to see. The opening is as good as the other openings. I love Casey's work. But what I will say is that it looks like Neo is the main antagonist of this volume which I find to be interesting. Also, we have this new cat- Oh, oh Neo, you are not slick. Well, not much happened this episode, so it was just a huge bore. I say this because half of the dialogue was recaps. That was it. I better could skip this episode without missing a thing and just assume what happened. Also, Penny's death only gets one line of dialogue. And that is if you can hear while everyone's voice is blurred as Ruby's passing out, face to the ground, Walter White style. They could have had a line after Ruby waking up, be like, oh, I'm sorry, I was just reflecting on Penny's death. But nope, it just looks like Ruby passed out for no reason. This was a meh episode. Good environment, but it kept repeating the ending of Volume 8 over and over again. It was annoying. Which is why I will give this episode a 5 out of 10. It's not the best start, but I hope they focus on the new island other than endings of Volume 8 dialogue. Don't get me wrong, I would appreciate it if it wasn't half the episode. And that was the first episode of Volume 9. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'd really like to see your thoughts down in the comments. And I am signing off. Hello. Well, must have been on something to end up here.